Now then, are you after the best budget mountain bike on the market right now? You've come to the right place, because this is the Vitas Nucleus 29VR, and I think this bike has got it all for a beginner. Just look at this thing. It's got a great frame, really good components, and it's been voted MBR Magazine's Mountain Bike of the Year four times. Let's find out why. As well as being built around a lightweight aluminium frame, which is perfect for upgrading the components around in the future if you want to, up front, you've got a suspension fork with 100 millimeters of travel. And the beauty of this fork is you can lock it out by twisting that knob and then it doesn't bounce up and down. So that's perfect when you're climbing up hills. And then when you're coming down the other side of the hill, you're gonna to need to stop pretty fast. It's okay though, because this bike comes with hydraulic disc brakes. The bike uses this nuke-proof neutron handlebar and a pair of Vitas grips. Now, it's a nice and wide handlebar that's going to give you really good control on the trails. And these Vitas grips offer you an extra little bit of comfort. Now, let's talk about the gears on this bike. This thing uses a 1x8 box drivetrain. And what that essentially means is it'll get you up the hills with ease and help you bomb down them really quickly too. It's a super dependable and reliable drivetrain. The Nucleus has got a decent seat post and saddle. The good news is if you want to upgrade the seat post in the future to a dropper seat post, and I can recommend that, the frame uses internal cable routing, so it should be a fairly easy upgrade. This is the 29 version of the Nucleus, which essentially means that the bike uses 29 inch wheels. They're nice and big, they're fast rolling, they use WTB rims with Maxxis Ardent tires. Really grippy and should see you really well whether you're riding natural trails or trail centers like this one. The beauty of when you order a Vitas bike is that it comes in a box almost ready to ride. The only thing I've added to this one is my own pedals and they're a pair of Nuke Proof Sam Hill Signature Edition Horizon pedals. It's one thing knowing the spec of a bike, it's another thing knowing how it performs and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take it into the mountains and ride this thing. Let's see how it performs. Like most trail centers, you've got to do a bit of climbing to get to the fun stuff. We've just reached the top of this climb now, and I can tell you this thing is performing well. The gears are shifting really nicely, especially when you get to some of the real kicks. When you're coming around a corner and you hit that hill, the gears are really solid and precise shifting. I was in the, the lowest gear to get me up some of the hills. It was working well. Now I've unlocked the fork. I'm going to shift down a few gears, send it downhill, and have a bit more fun. OK, let's go. Oh, yeah. That was brilliant. That's the first proper big bit of downhill done and it was an absolute blast. You can really tell that this frame has been built to be as confidence inspiring as possible. Everything just came together to make the downhills an absolute blast. Gear shifting was really positive. The brakes, okay, they're not gonna be perfect straight out the box because you've got to bed them in a bit. But after a while, they were really, really good coming into some of those fast corners because sometimes you're gonna need to brake really hard, otherwise you end up in a ditch. These wheels were really, really fast rolling. They're 29 inch wheels, nice and big, so they roll fast, especially down the trails. They were great for going up to. The Maxxis Arden tires were lovely and grippy in the corners, but not too grippy that they slowed you down or they were a drag on any of the little uphills. As good as this is for an entry level hardtail, there are a few easy changes I'd make to make this even better. The first one is to add a dropper seat post. It's fairly simple and essentially a dropper seat post allows you to raise and lower the seat post using a switch on the handlebar. And that's just perfect for when you hit those transitions between climbing and descending. When you're coming downhill, you drop the saddle out of your way so you can get further back over the bike. It gives you more control and way more comfort. The other thing I do is really simple too, maybe change the grips. These are kind of hard rubber on there. I like using a pair of nice and soft rubber grips. Okay, it doesn't massively help that I haven't got gloves on, but what I would do, i just change them out for a nice pair of soft rubber grips. There you go, there's a day done on this Vitas Nucleus and it's been awesome, I've had a blast. I reckon this is the perfect proper entry-level mountain bike. 
It's been put together by the brains behind Vitas, so you know you're getting a really good package here, starting with the frame and then all the components, and it rides really well. This thing is gonna see you through hundreds of really happy miles on the trails. Whether you're riding trail centers like this, or taking on natural trails, or just having a laugh in the forest. I've been loving riding these hardtails recently, so if you wanna see me ride a 1,000 pound hardtail, click there. And if you wanna see the upgrades you can do to your own bike, click there.